Hello everyone, how are you doing? My hands are a little ashy. We are going to be answering the question of what is the best language to learn coding. By the end of the video, you'll also be able to answer the question for yourself of what programming language should I learn first. So we're going to be talking about a little bit of JavaScript, a little bit of Python. These two are going to go head to head. I just want to make a quick disclaimer. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter which language you choose. It doesn't matter if you choose Python or JavaScript or maybe even some random language. It's not like you're going to have a moment three years later and you're going to be like, my life would be so different if I chose Python. You're not going to have that moment as long as whatever language you do choose, you learn core coding concepts. And what I mean by coding concepts is that in different languages, you can do the same thing. Like right now, let's say you're viewing this video and you really understand English. So it's through English I'm communicating with you guys. However, I could do this video in a different language, right? And I'm still getting the same idea out. However, for some viewers, it'll be easier to understand in one language than another. So when it comes to programming languages, you're going to see a trend where it doesn't matter if I'm using Python or I'm using JavaScript, I'm given some input, I'm given some data, and I want to see how is this data stored. I want to see how I can update a piece of the data, or maybe I want to transform the data into a different data structure so that it's easier to parse. Like, as long as you know how to do these core coding concepts and you also learn the art of debugging, then you're good, whether you choose Python or JavaScript. As long as you just pick a language and you get started and then you don't give up when it gets tough because it will get tough. It got tough for me and so many different programmers out there, but as long as you have grit and you don't give up, that's what's important. But I'm not going to be super vague with you guys and be like, all oh, languages are great languages. Like at the end of the day, you actually have to choose a language when you want to start learning coding. So let's dive into this first question of between Python and JavaScript, what is the best language to learn coding? And the reason why I'm even comparing Python and JavaScript is because I checked online and there was actually a lot of posts and forums comparing these two languages. And at first I was a little bit surprised by that, but later it made sense. So first off, when you want to learn programming, it makes sense to start off with a popular language. So the reason why that makes sense is because you want to make sure there's good documentation. When you run into a bug, and you will, and when you Google that bug, you want to make sure that there are about five Stack Overflow posts about that problem you're having. So that's one of the first reasons why it's good to pick a popular language, and both JavaScript and Python are very popular. So just to get some data for you guys, I was looking at Stack Overflow's developer survey results from 2019, and over 90,000 developers took this 20 minute survey so that's where their answers are from. So when we look at the most popular technologies, in this category, JavaScript wins as the most popular language. However, Python is number four on this list. But let's really dive into the question of what is the best language to learn coding? So let's say that is your true motive. You really wanna learn coding. So coding is a way that we communicate with machines. And through code, we can give a machine a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do something, also called an algorithm. So algorithms are at the heart of software engineering, computer science, and coding. So when it comes to creating algorithms, the way I first did it when I was in school, well, actually, it wasn't the first way I did it in school. I didn't honestly truly learn coding concepts until I took my algorithm class. And it was because in that class, it separated writing code and writing algorithms. So in that class, we wrote not a single line of code. When we wrote algorithms, we wrote it all in English. So let's say I wanted to, you know, reverse a list. You would say, First, I'm going to create a type variable. I'm going to loop through the input string, and as I loop through, what I'm going to do is save the first character and save the last. Like, 
you had to step by step write out what your algorithm was and that was it it was not in any coding language so it was actually in that class once we were able to separate it everything made sense i was like oh that's why we have different data structures. It's because sometimes we need our data to be stored linearly. Sometimes we have to have no duplicates in our data. And it was really in that class, things started to make sense. So when it comes to even present day, when I create my algorithms, I like to first think about it or write it down in English. And then I later convert it to code. And that's what I would also say to beginners. Really understand what you're trying to accomplish with your code before you start writing code because you're first learning everything. So when it comes to converting your English descriptions, your English algorithms into code, you want a language where it's easy to do that. And that language, the language that wins hands down is Python. Python is known for having easier syntax than other languages. There's less overhead. And I was actually watching a YouTube video, How to Think Like a Programmer, and I recommend this video to all new programmers, even seasoned programmers. Go watch it. Highly, highly, highly recommend that video. And it talked about how, um, what was it talking about? Oh yeah, so it showed three different examples of code. It showed a Python example, I think a Java example, and then a C example. And you could see that Python definitely had the least amount of code for what it was trying to accomplish. Maybe in five years, it'll be a different language if there's a different language that's more similar to English words. But for now, I would definitely say Python. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. If you agree, make sure you hit that like button. But if you disagree, just let me know in the comments below. I mean, some people think you should l learn a lower level language. I think if you want to learn something new and if your goal is to learn coding concepts, then you should choose Python. But I'd love to hear your opinion as well because so many different programmers have so many different opinions on this. So I'd love to hear yours. Okay, so I have some more data for you guys. So when it comes to the most loved languages, Python wins and you can see JavaScript is lower down on this list. And that's the percentage of people who are using the language and want to continue doing so. So now when it comes to the most dreaded languages, JavaScript is on this list. However, Python is not. And this is like the percentage of people who are currently using the language but no longer want to do so. And then finally, when it comes to the most wanted languages, and this is for people who are not using the language but want to learn, as you can see, Python is at the top of this list and is followed by JavaScript. You can see Python wins as the most loved and wanted language. Also, quick note, if you are currently learning Python and you feel very overwhelmed with that, I would say take a step back. Like there's plenty of visual programming languages that you can get into, like for example, Scratch. Or in another video I had, I highly recommended that people try an hour of code. And I specifically love Google's hour of code. So I'll have that linked in the description box and I'll say, go try that out, you know, understand what coding is. And then when you're ready, go back to Python. Okay, but now let's say the question changes a little bit of, what programming language should I learn first? Now, this the answer to this will highly depend on your motive. Now, if your motive is to learn coding, you got Python. Python's the winner. However, let's say you're trying to get a job ASAP, like that is your goal. Or even, let's say you're trying to make money ASAP. So what I would do in college was I would actually make websites for people and I would do that on the side in order to make some money. And websites are so popular these days. So many people want websites. And the main language that you use for making websites is JavaScript. So if that's your motive, you know, for example, and you want to make money quick, and I was also doing research and JavaScript wins as a language that is as which ones are employers most likely to request when hiring developers. JavaScript won. 
So if that is your motive and you would place, you know, like you need money now, like makes sense, then I would say, you know, learn JavaScript. You know, as, learn it, as long as you're learning those core coding concepts, you're good. I was actually talking to my coworkers about this and I was asking them, like, in your opinion, what is the best, or I didn't say this, I said, what is the first language that a beginner should learn and they said it depends on your motive like let's say you only want to make or you only want to code up iOS apps then okay you know the main language for that is Swift so if that is what you want to do you're 110% sure you know you can go learn Swift or let's say you really want to do game development go learn a game development language you really want to make Android apps go learn Java you want to make web applications go learn JavaScript like that was their perspective so I guess what you can also take into account is your motive so that can also play a part in basically this competition between Python and JavaScript is what is your main motive so if your main motive is to create web applications, and it's not to learn coding specifically, it's to create web apps, to create UI, then go ahead and learn JavaScript, and there's plenty of great tutorials out there as well. But if you really want to learn coding, Python. I'm really curious, in the comments below, please let me know what was your first programming language. So the language I actually learned first was Java, but I'm curious to know what language you guys learned first. And also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like to let me know. Bye guys. Yeah, but make sure to subscribe. Like, my goal is to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So let's keep this going every subscriber counts i really do appreciate you guys like i don't know on this channel i kind of feel like i like how positive you guys are i love how we uplift each other and i just want to keep that going so subscribe come join the fam bam and i can't believe i said fam bam okay bye